Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah. Give thanks to Allah. We ask this lesson on Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, today we have come with a new topic and that is hal. So, muqaddimatun fil hal. Introduction to hal. What is hal? You may have heard of hal before. When you heard of hal, hal means state of something. That's not hal. Now, when the grammarian are talking, that means the now scholars, when they mention that this is a hal, what are they trying to say? Let us look at um, our worldly affairs. For instance, somebody is eating. When the person is eating, you know, there is a particular way the person is eating. In, in the condition he is eating or the way. So a, a statement that comes to describe that state is when he is eating. That is what we call what hal. Do we get now? So what? let us define hal. Hal is a component of a verb that describes the state which a verb is performed. Do you get now? So, hal is a component of a verb that describes the state or the condition under which a verb is performed. Do we get now? So, that is what we call hal. For instance, let us look at this statement, for instance. Akala zeidon. Zeid start. That's a complete sentence. There is no issue with the sentence. Look, look at another one. Doroptu Anasan. I beat Anas. Is a complete sentence. Is a jumla tun mufida. Is a kalam. Look at this. Salatu Rojuli. Okay, let me leave this. Let us look at those two. Akala Zaidun. Doroptu Anasan. So these are complete sentence. Now, when we come with another, um, what's it called? If you come with another, um, a description, so now describe our verb again to give further information about it. And what you are coming with is something that is taking what is in a noticeable state. Is in the what noticeable state? That means it is in accusative case. Do we get now? When it's in such case, and it's describing that verb at the time it is being enacted. So we see that is what that is a hal. For instance, let's look at this. Akala zeidun, zid et, a complete sentence. Now, look at what is added. Jalisan. You know Jalisan, Abi. So you now say Jalisan. That means why he is sitting. Why he is sitting. That means he's telling us the state. So, so hal answer the question of in what way. Well, in Arabic, we say, I'll answer the question of what? Kaifa. Yani, Kaifa halun zaidun hina hakala. What is the state of Zaid when he was eating? I will now say what? Jalison. He was what? Who are Jalison? At that time, he was what? He was sitting. Do we get now? So that is an example of hal. Let's look at this and another example. The road to Anasan. I beat Anas. Mush do then, mush do then. Shut that is to tie something. Why he is tied up? That's when I wanted to beat him. If I say the to say that he's cleared, I beat him. And I'm give, I'm not giving you more information. The state he was while I was beating him. Mush do then. That means when he's tied, his hand and leg is tied up. That was when he was receiving the beating. So that is what that is a hal. Also, do we get now? Let's look at another example. So now to Rajuli call and this was salat, this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that the salat of a, of somebody of a man called Eden, why he is sitting. This was salat is half of a reward. Do we guess now? Yeah, this is long. The Sahaba has the Prophet that. Well, I can answer salat. Answer salat jalisan. I'll answer to salat jalisan. What will you Prophet? You, you also you also sit and you observe salat. What they are trying to say is that we also have a reward. He, he, he quickly answered. I said, Ajal, yes, I do sit. So, Walakin, last two kahadim minkum. I'm not like any one of you. So, if you look at, well, let's look at our hal there. Salat to Rojuli, Koridan. The time the person, a man is performing salat, Koridan. You can see that this Koridan is talking about the state he is while he is sitting from Koridan. Do we get now? So, that is what we call what? We call our hal. Now let's note this thing. When when we say something is the hal, 
it gives a description of our verb. That means at that time the verb is being enacted. It's, it's giving you information. After the end of the verb, it is not giving information anymore. Do you understand? For instance, if I say, how can I say it in Jalisan? Z X Y C T. So I'm not saying that Z is in state of sitting permanently. That means after eating, after eating, is Z sitting? Hal is not answering that question. So that is why the scholar said that. The now scholar say that whenever we are using our hal to what to describe a statement, the hal we are using must be is and must be a wasful. That is what that is mutangoy zero. It should be a wasful. We are using the adjective we'll be using an adjective that are not what they are not permanent adjectives. Adjective that the hal of that adjective can change, not permanent. So for instance, I say. Yeah, as they even told we land. They came while he was tall. Does that make sense? Somebody that is tall, can he get shorter again? Or I say, yeah, as they even cause run. They came while he's short. While he was short. You get, can, can they get tall? You know, these are, these are a tad bit wasteful. These are, is describing subut. So we, are, we don't use such type of verb. And um, sorry, adjective. When we are talking about her. So, on a general note, the adjective we use mostly are adjectives that are words that can change. They are not in a permanent state of that entity we are describing about. So I think we can move on. So that is that on example. So before we now leave here, I want to look at some very, very important things. When we have mentioned hal, there are some components that we must always look out for in our sentence. The first is that when we see hal, you can see that what we, we use a, the red pen to denote hal. We, we use the red pen. It's always in nasbo state. So that is one. Second is that there is always something in our sentence that is very important. We call it what? Sohibul hal. Let me use a, bl a blue a blue pen. We have what? Sohibul what? Sohibul hal. So this is our hal in red pen. So we have sohibul maza. Sohibul hal. So our sohibul hal, in for instance, let's look at this as our normal that we should use as a sample. Akala zaidun jalisan. Our hal is jalis. Our sohibul hal is what is zaidun. So what is sohibul hal? Sohibul hal is what we are what we are describing with our hal. Do we guess now? What we are describing with our hal, that we are we are using our hal towards to. Words, to to point out to. That is what we call Sahibul Hal. That means the owner of the Hal. The person who owns the Hal. If I say Sahibul Bait, the owner of the house. Do you get now? So Sahibul Hal. The person who owns the Hal. That means the Hal is describing such person. Look at this second sentence. The road to Anasan Moshudan. I beat Anas while Anas is tied up. So what is our Sahibul Hal? Of course it's what? That is Anas. So do you get now? So Anas. Anderson, that's our soil will hal in the second sentence. Do we get now? In this third, third sentence, solat of Rojil Koindan. The solat of a man, Koindan, of the man, why he is what? Why he is sitting. So, what's our soil he will hal? This is solat of uh, Rojil. This Koindan, why sitting? Who is he pointing to? Is this solat of Rojil? Of course, it's pointing to what? To the Rojil. So, that means in our third sentence, our soil he will hal. Is what Rojulu. Is what Rojulu. Do we get now? So that's our Sohibul Hal. So now, because for every sentence we are looking at, there must there should be a Sohibul Hal on the general note. There should be a what? A Sohibul Hal. So our Sohibul Hal is this. Now, for a starter, because everything we are teaching on the Hal, we are teaching at the preliminary level because. One of the widest topic, in fact, arguably, the widest topic in Nahu is Hal. Arguably, it's something that can be debated. But let me use this. One of the widest topic in Nahu is what is Hal. So everything I'm teaching, all, 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 all I'm talking about, I'll be using the preliminary method to explain it, inshallah, because of the classes for is not for the. And Jahab is for just the amateurs and those who are up and coming. So, so 
That is that. So our soil will have, you observe something about them. They are always was in Maori state. They are always in Maori state. Look at Zaid now. Zaid is a Maori part. Of course, why? Because it's the proper noun. His name you are giving to somebody. We have, I think we have done Maori before. The same type of Maori Let's look at Anas. Anas too is was a Maori because it's the name of somebody. Let's look at Roger is having elephant lamb. So that means our soil will have, will be what? With the, always, always a Maori on the general news. On a general news. So, that is that. And another is that our hal. Look at our hal. Our hal is what? Look at Jalisan. Is is nakra and is taking what's not good. Look at Moshidudan. It's also nakra and is taking what's not good. Look at Koridan. Nakra and is taking not good. So that is the basis of hal. That is the what? The basis of hal. So you should try to form other sentences yourself. So quickly. We want to move to, to the next thing. Don't forget, we are still doing our introduction. So we have anwar ul hal, type of hal. We have types of hal. So we have, look at this. Here it is written mufrodatun. In some books, you can see mufrodatun. Because hal, some scholars hold that it is masculine. Some use it as a feminine entity. Some say hal is masculine. Some say it is what feminine. But the view of the majority that it is feminine. That's why I use. Mufrodatun. So Al can be Mufrod. What does they, what does Mufrod we are talking about here? A single word. The single word can be singular, dual, or plural. Just one word, a single word. It can be Musulim. Do you get now? It can be Akilim. And we people that are much that are eating. Do you get now? Is we don't we are not looking at maybe the word is singular. Dual or plural. It's not Mufrod, Musanna, and Jamu we are talking about. No. But what we are talking about is just a single word. That was we meant by what? Mufrod, yes. That means single word that is not a phrase or a sentence. That means it's not a jumla or a word. Shibu'ul jumla. Sha one word, sha one Just a word. Do you get now? Like pencil, viral. Ed, something, just a word. I think that's why I quickly use English so that you get it. So that what we meant by what more for us. So we also have our hal can also be what jumla tun, and our hal can be what shibu only jumla. What what do we mean by shibu lima? We have done that when we did mutada and all that this thing that we did before. So shibu jumla means what a phrase what a a phrase, and they can be of two ways. We have what. Prepositional phrase that jaru and majuru. We also have words. Our phrase can also be what can also be a zorf. That is a um, locative phrase. Phrases. So that is that. So let us look at the move road. For instance, we have akala zaidun jalisan zid et while sitting. So our hand is what is look at it, a single word under move road that we are stressing. So jalisan. Let look at it. Lucky to Anasan. I met Anas. I met Anas. Rocky Bain. While Anas and I, both of us, Rocky Bain, we were riding. We were riding something. That you have seen. I do you know. So we are both riding. So you can see that here, Rocky Bain is for what? For both I and Anas. So the hand is describing the state of both of us when I met him. So you can see that this rocky bay is Musana, but because it's a single word, we put it on that Mufrod. So don't forget what, what it means by when we say Mufrod. When you are discussing Mufrod and Koba, you are discussing Hal or some things like that. When you hear Mufrod in subjects like this, it's not Mufrod, Musana, and Jamu they are talking about. But Mufrod as a single word, even if it's dual, even if it is Jamon, do we get now? So this is supposed to be Rocky Ban, Rocky Ban. So why is it Rocky Ban? Because it's in what state? Not so state. So the only we change to yeah. So that we have, we have what Rocky Ban. Do we get now? So if our two hal here are what Mufrod. Let's look at the second one, Jumlatun. Hal can also be a sentence. And what are the two two sentences? Can be jumla to ismiya. Can be jumla to 
friendly, yeah. Do you get now? So quickly before I will, I will go to Jum last week, let's look at here. What is our soybean hal in Akala Zaidun Jalisan? The soybean hal is Zaidun. I've been out. So Lakay like, to Anas and or Kibain. I met Anas why both of us are riding. What are what is our soybean hal? Who owns the hal? You will see it is what Anna and was and Anason. I and Anas, both of us are the words, are the so he will have. That is why, because we are true, that's why it is reflecting the dual in words in the hal or kibay. So we can see our so he will have. Do we get now? So let's look at Jumla. A Jumla now. We have Jumla to friendly. Yeah. Jumla to friendly. Look, look at this. As we are talking about our halo in the sentence. We have Akala Zaidun Yechilisu. Don't look, I'm not saying should, this is the Jumla to friendly I'm talking about. No, I know this is Jumla to friendly, but that's not what we meant. Yeah, that's why we use this arrow like this. We are talking about this Yejilisu. So one verb alone, like Jalasa, Yejilisu, that Jalasa alone, or Yejilisu alone, can be what? Can be Jumla to friendly on its own. If I say Zaydun Jalasa, let me, you know, Zaydun is Mustada, Abi is starting. What is Jalasa? Is your cobalt. And if I am asked that, what is my cobalt in that situation? I will say Tumulatun Fenileya. So one verb, I don't say one now. A verb alone can be referred to as a word, a Jumla. So this year, Jilisu year, is a word, is a Jumla to words, Fenileya, alone. The way it is alone year, it's a Jumla to Fenileya. Don't you guess now. You can't put it under here because it's a verb. Don't forget all these things that are announced on that move road. Don't get confused. Though. So this is Yejilisu. Jumlatun Fanyiliya. So our hal year is Jumlatun Fanyiliya. So what's the meaning? Akala Zaidun Yejilisu. They start and they ate while eating. So you can see that it's just like this one too. That's why it is called Fanyilu Mudori. That means Fanyilu Mudori on Ali Ismo, friendly that look like Ismo. That's why we are, you always say friendly motor because they have some similarities with Ismo, friendly motor. So we can see. So it looks like this. So that's that. The second is what? Akala Zaidun. Wahua. Look at this. Wahua Jalisun. Of course, this is a similar to what? Ismiya. Zed Wa. Why? This one is called Wa will hal. So we still do talk about this when we get to. This assistant a, a a topic on its own. So we have Wahu Ajali. So why he is sitting? Do you get now? So look at this again. Akala Zaidun Yejilisu Z X Y sitting. This one called Akala Zaidun Wahu Ajali. So Z X Y E is sitting. So this was this is a Mutada and Koba. Mutada and Koba. And of course you know that all your Mutada and Koba are what Jumlatun. Is me, yeah. So that means in this second sentence, this second sentence, our hal is was Jumla tun is me, yeah. Do we understand? So let's quickly move to the next, and that is what Shibhul Shibu Jumlatin. So Shibu Jumlatin. That is our phrase. So we have to type Jaru Amajrul and Zorf. So let's look at this. For instance, we have Da'al Musolli. The Musoli was the Musoli prayed and supplicated. Yeah, the supplicate. Musoli supplicated. He sojourned in words in prostration. In prostration. The wiggers. Okay, before I leave here, very, very important. What's our soybean hal here? Akala Zaidu Yejilisu. Our soybean hal is Zaid because the Yejilisu is describing Zaid. Yen call Akala Zaidu Wahua Jalisun. Zaid is. Why he is was sitting? What's our soybean hal? Zaidun. Why? Because wahu, this sentence wahu is describing our is describing Zaid. So quickly, listen to the next one. Shibhu jum Latin. Shibhu jum Latin. You can see Dal Musolli fi sujud. The the words the praying person supplicated in sujud. So our hal here is was jarun. Wa majururun. Do you get now? Jarun wa majururun together. That's our hal. So because it's describing the state 
which was the person while he was supplicating, the state of his while he was supplicating. Do you get now? So the verb was while he was supplicating, what was, was in his words in his to do. Do you get now? Let's look at another example. Khotob al Imamu Fawkol Mimbari. Khotob al Imamu Fawkol Mimbari. The Imam um, did was give Kutuba Fawkol Mimbari on the words on the Mimbar. So what do we see? So this Fawkol, you can say, I don't see Fawkol Mimbar. The Fawkol alone, because this is a word, this is a Zorf. So it is that alone that is our word, our Hal Ye. Do you guess now? So that is our hal. That's what we are taking on hal. So that is what we want to take today on the introduction on hal. So quickly in summary, we said our hal is always the um, the components that come to describe the words that come to tell us the state of the um, the state of and uh, that come to describe the state to us when the verb is what is occurring. At the time the verb is occurring, it's telling us what the condition or the state which was which it is being occurred. So it is taken to occur. Do you get now? So that's that way. So we have that look at so and it's always in nocro form. That means it's not always marifa. And so you can see and it's always in nocebu state. And there's always a soluble hal that it is being that the hal is describing. Do we understand? And that soluble hal. We always what we is always marifa in most cases. So that is that which we are taking now. These are the divisions. We pray Allah give us a better understanding of His Subhanahu wa Taala. Alhamdulillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.